That's yeah. interesting, man. I'm glad you still, um, you know, prescribe to your faith. And, yeah. You know, and right now, um, Islam, it, according to the media, gets such a bad rap. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> a lot of people don't do their homework. And like when you talk about ISIS and stuff like that, like 80% of um, the people ISIS bomb and, 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 and go to war with is Muslims. Mm -hmm. As soon as some, one thing happened, they want to blame it on you know, the whole Muslim nation. It's, it's not, it's, I mean, it's not like that. Hang on just a minute right here. Are my eyes and ears deceiving me or is French Montana dropping some serious facts up in their place? 80% mm -hmm. of the people they're killing is Muslim people. 80% mm -hmm. of the people they're killing is Muslim people. 80% mm -hmm. of the people they're killing is Muslim people. Now, what really impressed me about this clip was even French. Giant slang and box. Huh? Himself is aware of the basics of politics pertaining to his religion. And to be fair, nowadays if you're a Muslim, you have to have basic knowledge of geopolitics. Otherwise, the mainstream media is going to get you hate in your own religion. But well, Frenchie, you've done more than enough, mate. It's time to tag me in, yeah? Okay, let me start off with a smackdown right here. Here's an expert and Obama admitting themselves that were it not for their illegal invasion of Iraq, there would be no ISIS. There undeniably would be no ISIS if we had not invaded Iraq. ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al Qaeda in Iraq that grew out of our invasion, which is an example of unintended consequence. If that's not all, the oppressive prison system that the Americans had in place in Iraq, that was the place that the founder of ISIS was born. What we did was we allowed, we allowed things to happen in those prisons, in those detention facilities in, in Camp Cropper and Camp Buka to where guys like al-Baghdadi spawned. Camp Buka, that's the name of the post-war US detention facility in southern Iraq in which around 100,000 Iraqi men were held. Again, many of them were completely innocent. One former Buka detainee was none other than Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. You might have heard of him, he's the founder of ISIS. According to Iraqi terrorism expert Hisham al-Hashimi, the loathsome Baghdadi got more radicalized while in US detention, where he quote, absorbed the jihadist ideology and established himself. And that's not the end. Not only did these guys watch them grow, they encouraged them to grow. And a secret analysis by the agency you ran, the Defense Intelligence Agency in August 2012 said, and I quote, that quote is there is a possibility of establishing a declared or undeclared Salafist principality in Eastern Syria. And this is exactly what the supporting powers to the opposition want in order to isolate the Syrian regime. The US saw the ISIL caliphate coming and did nothing. Huh? And we know that this was, this was growing. We were watching. We saw that, that Daesh was growing in strength. And we thought Assad was threat. Uh, we thought, however, we could probably manage, uh, you know, that Assad might then negotiate. It's like some perv getting it off. Oh, yeah, ISIS. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you do your thing. And maybe you're thinking, hey, that's just the US. No, nah, mate, hang on just a minute. Let's see what MI6 has got to say about this. It was a question that in my 30 years experience of, uh, of working with these groups, actually on both ways, on both sides um, of radical groups and having been involved with them, nearly always standing behind radical groups has been a state actor or an intelligence service or, or, of a state actor. They are not just entirely something that has spontaneously arisen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's a storyline you're not going to see in the latest 007 movie. Bond. James Bond. Where are the terrorists? Thank you, Mr. Bond. We've been waiting so long. Th thank God you're finally here to kill them. Kill them? I'm not here to kill them. I'm here to work with them. What? What are you saying, Mr. Bond? Did I stutter? Tell me where the terrorists are so I can work with them. And I did a full video on this guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna come up at the end of the video and I'm gonna leave it in the description. YouTube obviously didn't monetize it. So it's not reaching that many people. So definitely watch it and educate yourselves on the geopolitics of the matter and realize 
Now, whenever you see these people talking, they don't bring up religion, they don't bring up scripture, they don't bring up reformation. For all these decades since, we have been using Wahhabism uh, in its radicalized form in order to pursue Western interests, where we're both in bed with terrorists and fighting them at the same time, in many cases. Until next time. Hey. Salaamu Alaikum.